couple of the areas that we've really been uh, well positioned for a long period of time has been in the engine cooling space and also in the powertrain space with our customers. In both of these areas, even though a PA66 and Vidine specifically has had an established space for a period of time, the, the uniqueness of some of the requirements there are still evolving. So we develop products in the engine cooling space for hydrolysis resistance and really have state-of-the-art resistance for hydrolysis applications uh, for internal combustion engines or for e-mobility solutions. And our Vidine HR product has really been tested by a wide range of OEMs on a global basis and come out as the lead performing candidate in terms of retention of properties. So it's really an interesting grade to be able to utilize not only for radiator end tanks, but for engine cooling connectors and other components that are in the cooling system. The other aspect that we saw from a temperature standpoint, we had our HT series, which was about 190C, and then we introduced the XHT products, which went up to 210 and 230. The difference that we found with customers in the applications here, your engine operates at a range of temperatures. So having the important parameter of performance over that entire temperature range is absolutely critical. And what we found is a lot of the higher temperature performing products, they had kind of a valley in their performance in terms of decreasing in their mechanical and physical properties as the temperature ramped up. And they went through from a cold engine to a hot engine. We flattened that curve and really found an ability to create products that enable stable performance through a wide temperature range, which provides more ability to engineer components together with our customers. So we found a significant success working with a wide range of tier ones and OEMs globally. And if you haven't started working with Ascend for engine cooling applications or powertrain and thermal applications, you're missing a great opportunity to develop better products in the future.